Hey there, Shuby Doodlers. How are you doing? Well, today is not live, and it's not live for a very good reason, because today is Saturday, and I will be doing two live Zoom tutorials with my patrons today. Uh, so I'm going to have to put this on to record. And today I'm going to be drawing uh, Melina, who is a beagle. So let me just go over and sort of introduce you to Melina who is a beagle of special qualities, as well as being a central member of the family and a particular friend of the young, who likes to jump on the trampoline, swim in the pool and cuddle on the sofa when there is a storm. Melina is an outstanding adventurer and seeker out of biological rarities in the countryside beyond Buenos Aires, Argentina's cosmopolitan capital city. Well, with a master's degree in botany and insect cytology and a doctorate in reptile psychology, Melina is often to be found rooting through the undergrowth, leading teams of scientists in the never ending search for knowledge of the natural world. I think I should be in that camera down there. <laughs> Well, she sounds like quite a character. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see how we could draw Marlena. Uh, let's go to the overhead camera. Uh, where, oh, what is this? I've already drawn her. Um, this is what I'm uh, going to be drawing with my <laughs> Zoom <laughs> students <laughs> tomorrow, today. In fact, while uh, this is being broadcast. So let's see how we could draw Marlena. Well, I've got my sketchbook here, so I've done various kind of, <laughs> she's a beagle. <laughs> They're quite a chunky, stucky kind of dog's beagles. And I thought that was another version I was thinking of. Um, so this is kind of what I'm thinking about. That's going to be today. So what we need is um, kind of a circle for the head. And imagine then that's the kind of the, 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 the meridian line and that's the equator. So we can put the eyes sort of like that on the equator and they're going to be looking down. This eye will then sort of come forward into the snout like that. Um, let's think where the nose is going to be. The nose will be roughly about there. So we want that bit to come about there. And this is a character. It's not a portrait. Uh, so why why is it a character? Uh, let me just do that bit there. Because um, my book Walker the Mystery, <laughs> the Missing Millions, is coming out uh, on the 25th of May and it's the follow-up book to Walker the Boy Who Can Talk to Dogs. And so to kind of celebrate and lead up and promote it a bit, I'm drawing a different dog every day. <laughs> up until publication day on the 25th of May. And I might have to do an extra one on the 26th because I missed one after my COVID jab. Um, so this is why I'm drawing lots and lots of dogs at the moment. Um, although it seems to be annoying some of my YouTube <laughs> followers. So we need to have the, the, the ears coming out like this and sort of come forward a little bit and then sort of, they're kind of great big. Um, floppy ears and they're quite puppyish in a way uh, I like that I think no we want that to be sort of coming around there I think really so that will be there and no we want that flopping out that way good so and we're gonna have the eyes a little bit further down here so at this sort of stage of sketching you can um, you can really kind of plan and just just be fairly loose and free so this is a very chunky kind of body and we then want that sort of back leg to sort of come out like that and then that's going to be sort of about there and then we want another one about coming about there i think something like that um and then we're going to want the front legs coming forward like that and we'll have that one there like that as well as I say, quite quite chunky, stocky, stocky dogs. Uh, nice tail sort of coming around there like that. And uh, that's maybe a bit a bit too much. So I'm going to bring that down there and then that there. There's a thing with this. This is the ankle here. So this is the foot which is coming straight down. It's standing on tiptoes. So we really want this kind of pretty vertical there. And then let's have uh, <laughs> this lizard here. <laughs> It's all a bit. Um, so, so I'm told Marlena's um, hero is um, 
Charles Darwin. And it's not a surprise because Charles Darwin actually went to Buenos Aires sort of on, on, on his ship, the Beagle. You see how it all fits in now. Um, when he was sort of going uh, around and when he went to the Galapagos Islands, so he had to sort of go down to Buenos Aires and then around uh, to get to the other side of the um, of South America. So this is going to be sort of something like that. We want this sort of fairly round body there. Um, and then that's going to be sort of throat. Uh, lizard legs are pretty weird. So, um, so <laughs> Malena lives with her scientists. <laughs> uh, let me think. This, it goes backwards. This is, it is a bit weird, the, the lizard legs. So we'll have those there. So look, Marlena does actually live with scientists, which explains it all. <laughs> and uh, kind of likes to go around the garden, sort of hunting out <laughs> rare and exotic species. Um, there, that should do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my... So what I'm going to do now is get my light box and switch that on and that will go quite bright I think and I would normally normally I'd do another little drawing in between but I'm just going to put watercolour paper straight over the top and um, and I'm going to trace it through and I know some people will be going oh he's tracing that's cheating uh, <laughs> it's not and if you think that you just have to get over it so it's it's kind of what you do I turn the main lights out so you can see what's going on underneath there a bit more easily um, tracing is good I've done videos called tracing is good and <laughs> it's a great way to learn um, how to um, it's a great way to learn how to draw because you're kind of following especially if you sort of trace you know a really good drawing but in, in this when it comes to cheating it's if you copy someone else's drawing and claim it as your own that's cheating okay but if you sort of copy other people's work and sort of trace them it's it's a really neat way to kind of work out how great artists do things and and your hand is then sort of following not in their footsteps, but you know what I mean, following the line of their pencil. And um, I'm going to put that little nose piece in there like that. And so then, uh, and tracing is, is really good here because you can make all the mistakes in the version underneath. And then, um, and then sort of get it right in this part here <laughs> by doing it like this. And then of course, while I'm drawing then my language side of my brain disappears. <laughs> um, so we'll have a tail and it's quite puppyish, isn't he? So we'll have the tail about there like that. And so artists forever and ever and ever have always kind of traced to, to kind of you do your rough sketch first and then you kind of trace it out for the for the finished sketch so that you get it right um, we want that sort of coming down there and a sort of great big pause like that we want a little carpal <laughs> pad in there and we can just see a little bit of uh, color in there and bring the chest down there and then here again we will need another thing like that so yeah and uh, carpal pad so I think that should be more like that it just means you can kind of, sort of adjust things and get them all in in the right place and and I sort of feel sort of reasonably confident about about this, but um, that I can just go straight to it. And sort of quite often I will do another version in between, but I've drawn this a couple of times now, so uh, I 
feel reasonably confident right I can bring that kind of line down there that line down there and then we want this um, arm it's just so gawky and awkward aren't they a little finger two three four and a thumb uh, that would be there oh I can hit the fire engine outside so thumb one two three four oops and then we'll take that down the back there and a lizard thing coming out oh it's all happening out there can you hear the fire engines <laughs> it's uh, oh I don't shouldn't be laughing that somebody's probably uh, I don't know I d maybe I, I think when the fire engines sort of go these days it's mostly kind of um car accidents and things isn't it so I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody one, two, three, four, five, five, like that, and that goes there. Uh, so that that should come down to there, and then that should come to there. That's it, yeah. Um, and that will do, I think. I'll give it a little bit of a wag on there. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Paint it. So I'm using C White of Brighton papers all the way through, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just that they're, they're very uh, good quality and sort of very reasonably priced. You'll find links to everything I used in the in the description box down below. And um, I'm I'm an Amazon affiliate. So I'll get a small fee, but you won't be charged extra if you follow those links. But you'll be helping this channel to keep going. So um, I'm going to get some kind of yellow and a bit of bit of ochre in there. I'm going to make this really, really thin because um, I think no, I'm, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> I'm trying to do too many. <laughs> I'm trying to do too many uh, drawings in one go at the moment. So I'm going to just sort of paint that in this ochre colour, but quite thin. I'm not pressing too, I'm not adding too much colour. So it's mostly water, and that's the secret of watercolour. It's in the name, watercolour. Um, and so I'm going to bring a little bit around like that. And then down the front of the legs like that. And around the back. And sort of just down the back of the legs there as well. And it's just kind of spread there a little bit. And then down the front of the leg there. And halfway out the tail like that. And then I'm going to get some. This is burnt sienna, which is a kind of a warm brown. And I'm going to paint over the top of these ears. And I perhaps should have left it to dry a bit. I don't know, except I want it to be still wet in certain parts. So this kind of place where it joins into the into the white there, I want that to stay quite wet so that the brown burnt sienna sort of floods into it. And so this is wet on wet technique. And I'm going to put a little bit of bit in there and the cheek you see so this is where it stops being a dog and starts being a character because it's dogs don't have cheeks like that <laughs> and we can bring that there and make that a bit more brown and maybe a bit more like that and so again I want this to be um, quite wet as it does that and then I'm going to get a bit of pink into these pores just a little bit of just a little splash of pink and there's a lot of water in this so it's scarlet bright red scarlet but a lot of water so that it, it's so thin down that it becomes pink and we might have a bit of pink around the muzzle here as well I don't know if you, yeah if you can see how pink it is or not on the, uh, and that will go there like that and I'll let that dry a little bit while I come to this 
lizard. <laughs> so I'm going to paint him yellow. Put a little bit of leave a little bit of white on the top there. I think. So this is a very lemon yellow. And I'm going to leave the front um, sort of white, I think, like a white throat on there. And then I'm going to get some green. This is Hooker's green. And I'm going to sort of, um, I think it's Hooker's green. <laughs> and I just blend that in on, on the underside so that it's yellow on the top, green on the bottom. I'll just let that blend in a bit. I think Malena has become very much a puppy. <laughs> uh, we need a bit more green in there as well, actually. So um, I'm just going to add a little bit more sort of green bits in there, like that. Um, and we need quite a dark sort of browny black. So this is burnt umber here. And I want it to be slightly warmer, so a bit of burnt sienna and then a bit of blue, ultramarine blue, it just kind of makes it a bit darker. And we want to have um, a, a, a great dark patch along the, the back here and up the tail like that to give it that sort of two-tone beagle look and I think actually we can probably put some darker in down here on that um, ear like that and I think we can probably put some in here as well which that is that's being sort of shaded and then I'm, this is a water brush it's an a, a pentel aquash water brush so it's the <laughs> the brand that I found I like best, and I only ever use this one, which is a broad tip. Um, they, they come in sets, but I, I'm not sure that the, the other brushes are that useful. I don't know. Um, and I'll just make this a bit more burnt sienna. And, and here I'm just leaving a little bit at the edge to sort of add a, a kind of a sense of thickness to the, to the ear. And I think we might need a little bit of shade under there and under there as well. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of shade underneath the, the throat. And then I'm going to get the green and maybe a bit of, add a bit of uh, French ultramarine just to sort of darken up that green. And I'm going to draw some kind of stripes around it at that angle Le leaving the space where there is that little bit of white and I probably should have done left little bits of white all along the legs and the muscles and things here as well just to make it look shiny and I'll just come all the way up like that at one angle and on that side too and then I'll let that dry and I'll come back at the other angle sort of to create um, a sort of a stripy kind of look. I'm just going to make that a bit darker around there as well and maybe just around the mouth. Um, the eyes. I'm going to get some yellow here. And I'm going to leave a little patch of white, just a little dot of white at the top there. A little dot of white. There. And then I'm going to get some um, burnt sienna and this is taking it straight from the pan just a tiny little bit I'm just going to sort of drop in there and clean my brush uh, so so the, the, the brush has water in the handle and you don't really need to squeeze it it just flows and, and if you've got some <laughs> clean tissue paper <laughs> I have kitchen paper with me and if you just squeeze that slightly it will flow and it will clean the brush and it's just like a miracle now i need a, a a nice shiny black nose so we don't have black in this set this is the cotman um sketcher set pocket set so i'm going to get a little bit of burnt burnt, 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 burnt umber and some french ultramarine and just sort of mix them together and you 
we'll get a kind of a dark browny gray and I'm gonna do that across there like that and then that across there like that and I think we might need some little little kind of whatever those are <laughs> that dogs have on their <laughs> on their um, snouts a little bit of shade on the the teeth because you don't really have bright white teeth like that and maybe a little bit of shade in these paws like that there like that um actually i think that's just too <laughs> take some of that color out of that and the nose is just a little bit too brown so i'm going to add a bit of blue into there on the front part i'm just gonna, i'm just dropping it in so it gets a bit stronger and maybe down the side there and the green i need more of that sort of green and the blue green and blue and then i'll do it in an opposite angle so you could just sort of a check crisscross pattern which will sort of give a hint of scales like that and probably a, a bright yellow eye in there as well oh that's gone green because <laughs> i didn't clean the brush properly anyway there we go and then all we're going to need is some shade so here again so we want the burnt umber and the uh, french ultramarine now that's gone two blues a bit more umber and somewhere in the middle you'll get a gray so i'm going to do these little blobs of gray underneath there clean my brush and then on the side of the brush i'm just going to kind of wash that out and let it sort of flow into wetness and then i have to do something similar here then in that case i need to get in between these toes um we're going to want something like that and then i'm cleaning the brush and and, and just adding s squeezing a bit so that we get sort of water that i can then just sort of pull it away like that and there we go so if you're enjoying this channel and the kind of stuff I do, if you'd rather be doing something more kind of like that, do come and join us on Patreon and uh, you'll be helping me to keep this channel going. And while you're at it, click down there, wherever it is, go and make sure you have subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and keep coming back for lots more drawings. In the meantime, <laughs> keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.